Sometimes grown-ups can be so serious. This book reminds me to slow down a little bit because it's summertime and there's so many nice things to take in. Stop, Stop by Edith Herb. Edith Thatcher Hurt. This is one of my favorite books from when I was a kid. It was Saturday. Susie's mother and Susie's father had gone away. They had gone away for the whole day. Funny old Miss Muggs had come to stay with Susie. I love these illustrations. They're by uh, Edith's husband, Clement. Susie liked Miss Muggs, but she thought that she washed too much. The first thing, thing Miss Muggs said was, Susie, get washed up, dear. We're going to the zoo. Then Miss Muggs began to wash. First, she washed Susie's hands and face. Then she washed her neck. She combed Susie's hair so hard it hurt. Ouch, said Susie. Stop, stop. Aren't we going to the zoo? Then Susie had to change her dress. Miss Muggs found a spot. Susie wished Miss Muggs would let her wear a nice dirty dress, <laughs> but Miss Muggs would not. When Miss Muggs stopped washing Susie, she began washing Susie's house. First she washed all the dirty dishes. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Then she washed the dirty dog. She put him in the bathtub. She turned the water on. Oh, dear Miss Muggs, Susie said, we never wash our dog. So I see, said old Miss Muggs. The dog jumped out. He ran away. <laughs> Susie looked and looked outside. Behind the gate, nope. Under the stoop, nope. In the garbage can, nope. Susie looked and looked inside. In the boxes in the basement? Nope. Behind the couch? Nope. She looked and looked up the back stairs. <gasps> the dog was in the closet. What a mess. Miss Muggs had to wash all the clothes, but she put in too much soap. There were bubbles in the bathroom. <laughs> trouble, Susie said. Stop washing, please, Miss Muggs. Ka-ka-ka-ka-choo! <gasps> Susie sneezed and shoot, sneezed. Our house is shoot, clean enough. When are we shoot, going to the zoo? Blum, 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 blum. Just let me mop this kitchen floor. That dog made such a mess said old Miss Muggs. Then she mopped up everything. She even mopped the cat. Poor Miss Muggs, the cat scratched back. Oh, I'm sorry, Susie said, but our cat is very clean. I never heard of mopping up a cat. Aren't we going soon? I'll just do this rug, said old Miss Muggs. And oh, my goodness, these curtains have spots. Miss Muggs got a ladder, but it wasn't strong enough. Crash! Down she went. Down went Miss Muggs. Boom! She bumped her head. She hurt her toe. Oh, I'm sorry, Susie said. But please stop. You've washed enough. Please, Miss Muggs, let's go. So Miss Muggs stopped and then she said, Are you ready for the zoo? Have you washed your face? Have you combed your hair? Are those clean socks? Yes, 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 Susie said. Please, Miss Muggs, let's go. First, they passed a man who was washing windows. Miss Muggs said, you left some dirty spots. Then they passed a man, passed the garbage truck. Miss Muggs said, how smelly. They passed the man who cleans the street. Miss Muggs said, he wasn't neat. The man got mad. He waved his broom and said, 
Look out! Yes, please, look out, Miss Muggs, Susie said. You may get into trouble. You're making everybody mad. But Miss Muggs did not look out. At the zoo, she said, those monkeys are not clean. The monkeys <laughs> laughed at her. Then she said, that bear's fur should be white. He growled at her. This hippo has not brushed his teeth just right. He sneezed at her. This gorilla's fingernails are black. She turned her back. Oh, this lion has not combed his mane. He roared at her. Oh, ooh, how I would like to wash that neck, said old Miss Muggs. And scrub those spots. If you scrub the leopard's spots, would they come out? Then Miss Muggs and Susie watched the elephants. They watched the mother elephant give the baby elephant a bath. Oh, the baby looks so nice and clean, Miss Muggs said. But she forgot his ears. The mother elephant looked at Miss Muggs. Then she lifted her long trunk and gave Miss Muggs a bath. Stop, stop, said old Miss Muggs, but the elephant did not stop. At last the keeper shouted, Elephant, elephant, turn the water off. So the elephant turned the water off. Miss Muggs was a mess. Oh dear, Susie said. Now you have to go right home. You have to wash your hands and face, and you'll have to change your dirty dress. Not I, said old Miss Muggs. I have washed and scrubbed and soaked all day. I've had enough of that. Who cares about my hands and face? Who cares about my dirty dress? Let's have some fun. And so they did, Susie on a lion and Miss Muggs on a goat. They did have fun after all, didn't they? And Miss Muggs even had fun. <laughs> While you're here, do you want to do one song before we go? There are no bananas in the sky, bet my eye. There are no bananas in the sky. There's a sun and a moon and a... Mmm, chocolate pie, but there are no bananas in the sky. Bet my eye there are no bananas in the sky. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. See you at the library.